G'day and welcome back for more Escape from Purgatory. We are getting close to having the booze bus ready for its shakedown cruise. Just got to fill it up with some stuff and probably a bunch of other things. Plus get distracted because, you know, it's us. So that's going to happen. But at least one of the distractions is kind of a cool idea, so there's that. Ow, just toasted myself. This thing's connected to the grid, but I'm going to disconnect it from the cargo just quickly. That way I don't take the materials out of there using my build planner that I'm putting in there, if you know what I mean. Well, what you can use, you can actually use build planner within the control panel. Really? Yeah, so if you name those cargo containers to something specific, open up control panel, and then on like one side of the control panel on the inventory screen, type in that name so it just shows up those ones, and then use the um, withdraw components for build planner button that's in the middle. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I just need to make a massive build planner then. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll do that. That's like one of the only times I use that function of build planner. <laughs> it's prepping for a new base and taking all the stuff. That's quite handy. Also, this this thing is really dark. I'm trying to find my way around it. So my thoughts are if we get this um, sort of lifter thing working. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just had a oh, an infrastructure thing I I have to do at some point, but I don't think it's going to be appropriate here. Would be using grav gens to lift stuff off the moon, launch it to space, and then catch it. That's ridiculous. Cause, I love it. Because grav gens work on the moon. We could do that. We could like build up to prep that sort of infrastructure so we have a refueling thing that we just go down there fill a container full of ice and just launch it up to space and then put like artificial masses and click on the grab gens is that how it works uh-huh and then the thing just goes and takes off yep because you can no. put in like you know as many grab gens mm -hmm. as you do for how many yeah. g's <laughs> yeah all of a sudden just like 10 g's of four upward thrust and if we made it so it had, like, if we make something that's just got a couple of ions on it or something, um, we'd be able to then get it to stop itself and then connect up to the booze bus and refuel. Nice. And then send it back down. I kind of want to do this. I doubt we'll need that much fuel, but I kind of want to do it. <laughs> can I? Can I, Jashi? Energy. Any um, no. concerns with us attempting this plan? Sounds nuts. I like it. Yeah, sounds like a lot of work. I want nothing to do with it. Inventory full. You're building the first stages, Capac. What? Yep. I'm just I'm just here to make things look pretty. That's what I'm here for. Well, Capac, you would know that I see things being pretty as being important. Yeah, so you say. Hey, you've seen the work I did on the booze bus. Most of that was just trying to make it look decent. <laughs> had nothing to do with... <laughs> had very limited structural or functional role. <laughs> People have been afraid that we were attempting agglomination part two, Kamak. Yeah, I bet. I don't think Kanajashi wants to have anything to do with such a ridiculous program. <laughs> project. The world's not ready for another <laughs> agglomination. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the inter doing the internals on something of that scale is so time consuming. <laughs> All right, I think I've stripped the prison ship of ions. Very nice. Once we've got fuel again, I think it'll be good to do some piracy and uh, see if we can equip more ions onto the booze bus, but at least with hydrogen thrusters, it'll Inventory be able to move full. quickly. Come back, I've got some, I've got a pair of fully, pretty much fully charged batteries that you can add onto the HCSA Inventory at some point full. if you want. Oh, uh, okay. Um, the two from the THI. Oh, yeah. These... These letters. Letters? HCSA onto the GHI. <laughs> just like. <laughs> just speaking like a middle management. <laughs> or oh, someone in the military. All the TLAs. Every TLA under the sun. Mm -hmm. and a couple connectors. I think I put enough stuff in these storage containers here to. Uh, Get us started down there. Cool. And don't forget, the booze bus will be in orbit as well. Mm -hmm. 
So if we if we really are stuck, we can just ferry ourselves back up there with a load of fuel and go grab a bunch of stuff from it too. Oh, we need silver to do the, your gravity Energy thing. Critical. Yeah, we've mined heaps of it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Hmm. There should be thousands be, of kilos uh, in the... Doesn't seem story. to be producing the... I might not components. have set gravity components to be produced at a much Oh, it needs gold as well? Oh, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, you have no gold. Okay. Yeah, we're out of gold. That's fine. Okay. Dev. So we, okay, we so need gold before need. we can do your gravity launch idea. All right. Uh, I can... Okay, I know what to do. I am going to go and hunt on the outside of the asteroid for some gold. And then I'll go mine it with the boost bus. Well, there is gold on the other side of the asteroid. Yeah, it just needs to be on the outside of the asteroid. I can't dig into oh. the asteroid with the boost bus. I mean, if we just need a little bit, I can go manually do it. Oh, we need heaps. Oh, okay. um, Never mind. Yeah, gold refines at a really low efficiency. Mm -hmm. So you get very little back for how much ore you collect. It's a bit of a pain to do by hand. But yeah, and you're doing you're doing this design. Capax made the um, survival kit armored for some reason. Yeah, I gave it, uh, there's a little window on both sides to access the survival kit and the food stuff. Uh-huh. Well, we don't want stray bullets entering the survival kit. Are you making a Kanajashi pod or are you getting rid of the pods? Because you can probably get rid of the cryopods for the moment. No, I was going to reorganize them. Uh -huh. Make them not sideways. Oh, right, you're going to pipe them off the bottom. <laughs> All right, time to find some gold. Where's the gold? Uh, Kapak, you might need to communicate with Kanajashi what your plans are so he can help you get everything ready. Uh, plans? Yeah, plans. <laughs> I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. Yeah, so come up with some plans so you can communicate and you can get the stuff done while I go out and get this gold. Uh, well, uh, we don't have the cockpits on the top bit, so I guess that could happen. Alright. Does now. this little thing have, um... What just... Why am I thirsty? Well, we should drink some water, then. Uh, just hearing Kapak randomly saying, Ow! All right. Sorry, can I just see what were you saying? <laughs> I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Got derailed by the Kapak. Yeah, thirst will do that. Kapaks will do that. Apparently, I didn't put a gyroscope back on the booze bus. <laughs> That's the problem. I can't wait to see the booze bus in its full glory in the sun. Mm-hmm. It's, it's been in partial <laughs> shade every time I've seen it so far. Gonna look good. It's gonna look something. An alcohol fueled nightmare. Yeah, it definitely looks something. Does this upper upper portion have gyros? I think those are that's just in the main section. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, yep, there's some gyros on the back here under this antenna. Oh, okay, sweet. So there is some gyros on this upper portion. Uh, Reaver Invader. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, not when I've just flown out and created a medium signature with this thing. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. You yeah. should, uh... Not attract his attention, if you can. That would be a good thing. Setting up the jump on the hotbar. <laughs> yeah, if he comes in, just get out. <laughs> get yep. out as fast as possible. Yep. Oh no, that's us, that's us. Oh, oh dear. I'm jumping. He's leaving us. Brave Sir Robin runs away. Yep. See you guys. Is it still coming toward you? 2.6, 2.5, 2.3. Yep, it's coming in and it's coming in fast. Oh no. Uh, 
We don't really have a fighter craft available. We have one fighter craft here. You might have to fuel it up and take it out. Whoa! Is it shooting? I, I heard explosions. It's shooting something. Is it shooting at the THI remains? Whoa! I think it's shooting at me! Oh, it's definitely shooting at Captain. Oh, it's got missiles. It's blasting through the asteroid. Come on, Oh, Reaper. no. It's shooting at something else now. Small grid or large grid? Oh, it's gone. It's dead. Small grid. Oh, it's small. Oh, I should have stayed. I could have taken it. Ah, die. I think it's dead. I was worried it was large grid because this, the boost oh, bus has enough guns. It, it should be able to handle something small grid. Uh, it's, uh, it's neutered. It's just flying away now. Yeah, it lost all of its guns. We shot. We killed. There we go. <laughs> oh. Well, that was terrifying. And then Splitsy comes in for the cleanup. Good work, I back. We defeated it together. Yay! Yeah. Good job, team. Uh. <laughs> Brave Sir Robin runs away, comes in for the cleanup at the end. After us brave foot soldiers have won the battle. Yep. It had to happen, though. <laughs> Imagine the reaction I'd have had if I'd gotten the boost bus destroyed by that. <laughs> Just after I put the jump drive on it. It would have gotten destroyed. It would have just been some damage. I did I jump back to join, to join in the fight or to try and distract it, but I didn't get back quickly enough. Mm -hmm. You just did a little 5k blind jump? Uh, I did a 25k blind, blind jump. Mm. Five, sometimes not enough when you it takes you about half an hour to accelerate to 100 meters a second. Because <laughs> this thing's very, very slow at the moment. The secondary... We need spots for all three of us to go down on the shuttle thing and to come back up on the lifter thing. Uh, yeah, I think we should have three seats. Or could some of them be cryo chambers? The only way to fly. I mean, they could be. Just thinking about a way I can tuck them in here without, uh, like, breaking up this thing's silhouette or putting them sideways. Because <laughs> I could pipe in a, the cockpit. I could just, like, plunk it there and it'd be piped in. But it's sideways. And so your view when flying back up would be all screwy. Well, as long as the main cockpit's facing forward, it should be fine. Yeah. If the other two, they can be sideways, they can be whatever you want them. Alright. You know, just do it this way. That works. Okay, I'm at the gold deposit. Time to collect some. So, this portion of this should be flyable after it separates. And is hauling the ice back up to the, the top. Oh. And it's got plenty of oxygen on it and four H2O2 gems. And it's just got those two large cargo containers, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's got a whole bunch of tanks. Oh yeah, I suppose we'll be able to um, make large grid O2H2 gems down on the moon, wouldn't we? Yep. So yep. I can fuel you up. basically just set up a uh, hydrogen processing plant. Yeah, yeah. And that way I can just hit stockpile rather than having to fill up the cargo containers. So eventually it could even lose those cargo containers and just have tanks. Precisely. <laughs> Flinging highly explosive hydrogen tanks into space. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this idea more and more. 
It sounds almost Kerbal-esque. It does. It does indeed. Uh, make sure you bring some magnesium. I think we might be able to find magnesium on the moon. Uh, so we may want to, once we're down there, uh, maybe Kapak could set, make himself a search vehicle. It's a rover of sorts. Since we'll both have build projects to work on. Does that sound interesting to you, Kapak? Uh, yeah, maybe. You can hunt for the magnesium. Alright, grab stuff to make a couple turrets. Uh, someone remind me once I'm docked back at the base to put some water on board the booze bus and some food. So I'm without Oops. both right now. And I'm starting to get hurt by my thirst. You let it go so far. But we're going to have all the moon water. Yeah, but we're not going to be bringing it back up immediately, are we? Uh. -huh. How much gold ore do I have? Uh, 135,000. That's probably adequate. Right. I think I'm ready to go. I'm just going to come back to the station, grab myself some water, and then I'll start bringing the booze bus in. Oh, that's what you did with the cockpits. <laughs> I didn't realize what you meant by sideways. <laughs> yeah, sideways. That's sideways. I thought you meant like pointing left and right. No. <laughs> Oops. Sideways. Because it's the, uh, the bottom on those that has the large connector. So yeah. Just slap them on the side there. Uh, we'll need to hook the like we'll need to hook that ship up to the booze bus as well before we launch. I slap a landing gear and attach it. Should be fine. Well, there are connectors at the rear of the booze bus, so you can just hook it up by connector. Yeah, that works. Oh, I'm just flying through the debris of that reaver. Debriva. <sighs> And you sigh at everyone's puns when we stream. It's not a pun. I know, it's a portmanteau. <laughs> wondering if I'm going to need some assistance to guide me in. I can come help. I mean, I'm ready to go, so I'm just hanging out. Okay. Uh, watch out for the wreck that you yeah. were very close to. I think I need to go this way. Yeah, you're kind of upside down compared to what our normal orientation is. Good on the wreck here, it seems. Yeah, you've got a few meters of cap. Yeah, it's trying to line up myself so I can connect to that connector. We can load up mm -hmm. all the silver on board the booze bus so I can manufacture gravity components on board. This connector here. Should be okay from this angle, I think. Yeah, you passed the uh, the wreck, it seems. Am I? Mm, just about. You need another bit forward. Oh, uh, oh. certain cyclops. Your distance. Then it looks like you need to. Wait, where's that connector on the front of your ship? It's just above the drills. Okay. So from your orientation, you need to go down further. Yeah, can I go down further? I'm going to hit that yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. You can also, like, rotate to your left. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Uh, what did I just shoot? Uh, you just destroyed the, uh, the my fighter printing machine. What? Yep, you were shooting the piston that drives the projector. What? <laughs> Why? How was any of that not owned by us? Hey, you're the one who's meant to know what they're doing. You tell us. I reckon that's someone from back on the server days has um taken ownership of some block that we didn't some somehow didn't have ownership of still strange uh you probably want to let's see how aligned are you yeah rotate that direction about 90 degrees in total and yeah good now you can come back to your left and rotate a little bit to your left 
and that'll align you up. Good, good, good. And then you are a little bit low, but one block low. Good. Ease it in. Yeah, this thing's 1.3 million kilos. I don't want to knock it hard. Yeah. Nice and slow, straightforward. The tiniest touch left. And there you go. There we go. Cool. Lockdown. Uh, right. Must make at least temporary medical room on board this thing. It's just funny. It just picked that one block. I thought it was shooting the the, the uh, shuttle we've been working on, and I got frightened. I'm like, oh my god, is it shooting out our hydrogen tanks? Our <laughs> only hydrogen? Oh yeah, that would have been so bad. We'd lost our hydrogen from that. That's like, Oof. that's like a just just sit down and cry moment. Then. <laughs> yeah. We're kind of getting close to a point where we could. If the, once the booze bus is sealed, we can potentially not use the asteroid base, except for printing fighters. We can live aboard the bus. Nice. As Kapak and I once did on a previous bus that looked quite different. So I'm thinking when we go, we do have one fighter here, right? Should we take, take it with, with us? us? Has it got any fuel? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Uh, probably would have gotten emptied by the stockpiling. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's tanks are empty. Yeah. But it, it doesn't take much fuel, so I guess we could fill it and stick it onto the booze bus so that we've at least got the fighter with us. That's a good thought. And I think this thing is small enough and light enough and has enough hydrogen thrust in every direction. It would actually work on the moon. Yeah, but not for we've, long. We've, but... <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't fly very long, but it would actually it would work. fly there. Just be like, all right, ready for like a three minute flight time, detach, go into combat, end up just flopping onto the moon at the end. Ooh, we are low on the old cobalt, down to our last 600 ish. And we no longer have a known location for cobalt. Unless someone wants to root through our old videos trying to find it. Which I don't. Well, maybe we'll find some on our way to the moon. Uh, we won't find any on the way to the moon, but we may find some on the moon. I don't know whether the moon has it. I'm just waiting for the booze bus to complete the reactor components that I've ordered up. Since we've got that little bit of uh, uranium, I thought I'd put it on the booze bus as backup power. Hmm, that makes sense. I'll get all the uranium into the reactor and then I'll turn the reactor off and only turn it on if we need it which we may do because of the jump drive chewing through so much power yay by building small mm. reactor you have unlocked new blocks hooray hey. <laughs> I haven't seen that message in a while it's the f <laughs> first new block we've built in months okay That's good. so are you guys ready to go I'm, I'm good Capac? Yeah, I'm just doing armory bits. Because uh, none of it's functional. Yeah. In fact, some might I argue just... it's anti functional. How oh, rude. Well, it's extra I white. I shoved a whole bunch of materials into the two large cargoes and. ready to disembark. Uh, so, who's gonna move that and attach it to the booze bus? I good. And who wants to move the little fighter? Because it's got fuel aboard, doesn't it? I stockpiled one yep. tank onto it. So it's got one small tank, just enough to like maneuver to latch up. Ooh. Do more than one. I remember how quickly I burnt through fuel in this thing. I mean, if you're not going combat thrust, all you need to do is just like little thrust and coast. That is a good point. Uh... All right, I'm going to try and fly the fighter then. All right. And take it Batteries over to the Batteries are now bus. off of recharge. I'm going to disconnect from the base. 
This will also be a good test of whether the uh, little fighters end up getting cooked by the thrusters on the booze bus. Uh, also, whoever rebuilt these wheels, mistake. Huh? Those are the ones that get cooked. Oh, right. I'd probably just take off the suspensions. I forgot about that. There we go. Alright. Uh, Kabak, do you want to help guide Kanajashi up to the booze bus? Steers. Okay. Uh, Although, do we want to lock it? Can... Hmm? Oh, come on. I can't make this thing move hardly. Uh, do you want? Come on, gyros. Oh, hang on. Yep, that's uh, about the right way. Okay, Josh, you should have controls on the hotbar for turning off the big thrusters. Uh, two, right? Yeah, now navigate. Yeah, there. So if you're having issues with turning using the gyro, just thrust a little bit and it'll help you. Yeah. Are these yep. batteries in this beacon just floating on their own here? Yeah, they're the ones you can add to your HCSA. Uh, should I do that before we leave, or will they be fine? They should be fine. Let's go, or should we all be on the bridge of the booze bus? Uh, maybe let's all go on the bridge of the booze bus. Alright. I'm going through this convenient hole in the wall. Eventually there'll be doors, but uh, not just yet. Let's just make sure the med bay, is, the med room is working properly for getting oxygen and such. Yes, it is. Good. Go back. Where are you? What? Where are you? Where my seat? You are. Oh yeah, you are. Oh, you're both in your seats. Yay! Yep. Hold up. Let me see if I can get a picky of this. Oh, come back, you jumped out just as it took the screenshot. Oh. I'm trying to fix my hands. Yep. It's all good. Alright. Uh, ah, I fixed them. Now i got to really hope I don't snap the rover off the bottom. I just don't uh, crash into anything. It's yeah, a simple the thing. Uh, Watch the sun out is helping the, uh, right now. Yeah, you need to probably aim your nose down a bit. Should be good now. Yeah, you're clear. You're clear on the bottom. Whoa. By a few meters. I mean, you could have just jumped from where you were. It sometimes doesn't like jumping it. when you got voxels right in front of you. Doesn't? No. no. Unless they got rid of that function, but it used to be a function. I can't remember. I've been driving around... Uh planet for so long I've forgotten what space travel's like. Where's the moon? Someone point out the moon. Where's the moon? There's the moon. Where's the moon? Over it's behind way. the asteroid from us. Oh, there it is. Yep. Oh, uh... Oh. Never what mind. Are you, who are you? It's all good. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> but... I thought I saw something, but I was mistaken. What did you see? Nothing. <laughs> what did you see? I thought I saw some damage, but it was not damage. Was it just missing bits? No. My armor design? Nope. Okay, fine. Don't tell me. Some eagle-eyed viewer will, will figure it out and put it in the comments. Alright, we are jumping to the moon in 10. Nope. In 10. 9. Something, something, something. Uh, uh, jump. Maybe? <laughs> Whoop. There we go. We're at the moon. Hey. Look at that. That's how you get to the moon and back. Oh, yeah. Excellent. I even got us over the correct area. So we're over the ice. So how close can we get to the moon? <laughs> how close do we dare? Well, I mean, how much lifting does this thing have? Well, this thing probably doesn't... This thing can't do full moon gravity? Nope. No, but we can descend until we hit gravity and then head back up. I mean, in the worst case scenario, what you guys will need to do is figure out a way to get the hydrogen thrusters on the back working before we crash. 
<laughs> well, I just... That might be fun. Okay. Oh, we're in the moon. Wait, I've got a compass. Do you guys have a compass? What? Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, maybe we get compass before we get gravity. I thought we got gravity first. That was the same time. It's a, it's a gravity compass. I'm just glad I haven't cooked that fighter on the bottom yet. I'm so glad I added the blinky lights. <laughs> little, little blinky lights. It's just one of those um, kind of little things you don't usually take the time to do, but it adds, adds that nice sense of motion. <laughs> this might be a while until we hit the gravity well. But we don't want to be going too fast, otherwise we'll just continue going. Well, Capac, um, do you want to pop out and hop in the fighter and scout out where the gravity well starts? Uh, Kanajashi, if you want, you could hop in the rover and just be ready to pilot it in case. Sure. Hopefully you won't need to, but at least if you can bail with it, we'll have enough to set up an outpost Ooh. here. While I crash another booze bus. <laughs> I mean, I could just <laughs> take the thing down because... All I need to do is give a good thrust downwards and then coast. I'm not sure our jetpacks work on the moon, so we won't be able to come down and join you. We need that to safely get down there. That's Last time, survival kit. Just hey, you know. I'm not respawn. <laughs> not, <laughs> I'm not Star Trek uh, teleporting. Your batteries are on recharge, and your fuel tanks are on stockpile. Uh, They're on the hopper. Yeah, I don't know. My thrusters on a group. No, the thrusters aren't off. The what? tanks are on stockpile. Oh. But Whoa, what the... <laughs> Turn off your inertial dampeners! <laughs> I can't move. <laughs> That's because you destroyed the fighter. <laughs> turn, turn on your... Turn off stockpile again. What? <laughs> you, didn't you turn stockpile? Oh no! You, I can't cause, move. Cause you destroyed your connector. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Looks like Capac's getting down to the moon first. But the connector shouldn't. <laughs> the connector's the piping mechanism. Remember? Uh, I thought they were all connected in other ways. Don't think so. There's a couple of them still online. You're, you're crippled, but you... Well, Capac, since you're crippled anyway, do you want to just try and get ahead of us and find out where the moon gravity starts? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Only my reverse thrusters work. <laughs> okay. See if you can you land it. a couple other there's. Uh, uh, and num plus. Capac, you'll need to create a GPS as you cross so you can tell us. There we go. Are you in gravity yet? Nope. In gravity yet? Nope. <laughs> uh. Wait, why am I... Why am oh. I slowing down even though my dampeners are off? I don't know. You in gravity yet? Nope. Okay. I'm glad we sent him ahead. Yeah, it would have taken us a long time it's just slowly falling. Yep. I'm in gravity now. Okay, GPS us. That was about 750 meters when that happened. So, we should probably oh, okay. start slowing down soon. Considering you're going 40 a second. Yep, you're in P. You're in planetary gravity. Oh, okay. There we go. Still slowing down. Good job, Kavik. Alright, uh, uh... It just has to be night time where I'm coming down, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. You will lift back up, out. Yeah, and I'll create a GPS just outside so that we can jump to it. Okay, my one thruster that works is not enough to slow me down. 
Okay. Uh, let us know if you survive. You have three... F no, two functional thrusters on your butt. You didn't survive? Not even a bit. Okay. I'm going to jump us forward just so we're over a spot that actually gets some daylight at some time of the day. Because I think where we go down is going to always be dark. You back on board, Capac? Nope. Uh, Trying to find just... the right survival kit. I'll call it BB Medical Room. <laughs> Booze Bus Leno Edition? Yep. Because of the giant chin, remember? <laughs> Right. All right. Uh, I'm on in the board. cockpit on the top. Uh, okay. Capac's driving then? I guess. Oh, boy. Wait. Do I have control? Yep. I don't want control. I just crashed into the moon at 120 <laughs> meters a second. <laughs> All right. I will take control. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know this ship well enough to fly it. Okay. We are coasting. Right. Everybody's on board, right? Yep. Everybody remember what section we parked in. Bye, booze bus. We'll All see right, you big, later. Big thrusters are on. And three, two, one. Main thrust, ignite. Down we go. Just gonna hope that nothing attacks the booze bus while we're gone. Yeah. Couldn't you like turn it off and reduce its signal? Entering planetary gravity. Yeah, I probably should have. But I didn't. And we never saw it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should I land us outside the crater or in the crater? What do you guys reckon? Anywhere where there's plenty of ice. Uh, we don't know how deep it is, so I'd say the surface might be safer. Yeah. Plus, the surface should get more sunlight. Alright, that's thing I didn't make, bring is a bunch of solar panel stuff. But we'll just run off ice for the first bit. Yeah. It'd be fine. Alright, 1,000 meters this, up. This machine has a hydrogen engine on it, right? Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's really rocky around here. Mm. Definitely could have picked a better spot to land. Mm. Yeah, this was poor planning. Agreed. Who was in control of that ship anyway? I don't know. So anywhere around here and we can pick a spot and it's got a good chunk of ice and we can set down the drill rig. Yep. <laughs> I might be having some fun trying to do this without dampness. <laughs> and back to space we go. It's okay, it's okay. It's just really hard with this uneven terrain. Might be a lot easier if you turned on the dampener. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Touchdown! Yeah, we, we are driving. Yay! Excellent. <sighs> Time for Moon Base One. Now is that sun setting or rising? Uh, it's gonna go round in circles. Oh, we're in the North Pole. We're, we're, we're on a pole. Yeah. Let me see. Sweet. Seven point seven k's above us is the booze bus. Uh, shall we attempt the beginning of setting up this base next time? Sure. I got the first load of ice. We can head back to the asteroid. <laughs> oh wow, the uh, your jetpack doesn't really work that well here. No, it does not. Uh, yeah, might help arrest a fall, but not much else. Yeah. Okay. So next time we will try and get this mining rig set up and start establishing a bit of base here. Capac mo might get some sort of scout rover, see if we can find some magnesium and other things around here. Hopefully, all of this can happen without us getting completely destroyed by a reaver. Oh, it's Since real Capac dark. destroyed our one and only fighter. 
So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you Ooh. next time, everybody. See you later.